Welcome back to the channel. It is your boy Salami and today we're looking at something a little bit different. You may have seen this floating around on the internet, but if you haven't, now's the time to have a look. If you're remembering back to the day of 2000, back on the PS1, Sony dropped a banger of a game called The Legend of Dragoon. Now that game has been locked to the PS1 for a very long time. It is available now on PS4 and 5 as a digital download as part of their PS Plus Classics collection, which I do own. Um, but this is a way to play a native PC port. Yes, that's right. A PC port of Legend of Dragoon, and it's a full reconstruction of the game engine. So it's not an emulation. It's actually its own thing so uh it means that they're not mimicking ps1 hardware and which means the game will be run faster leaner and has the ability of modding which is going to be coming sooner rather than later by the looks of it as sever chains as it's called the project is working on getting it finalized uh as you can see here i'm playing it in the background and they've added some cool features, which I've actually turned on here. So if you remember, back in the day, this game has an active combat system. It's turn-based, but also active. And when you attacked, you'd push X when you hit them to do your uh, double slash and all that. As you can see here in this version, you can actually just turn it on to be automatic. And it, you don't have to do it. I just tried it for this fight and realized uh, it takes away a little bit too much fun. So I've turned it back on for later gameplay, as you'll see. But let's get into it and I'll show you how to get the PC port of this up and running. And we'll talk some more about it after the fact. All right, we'll see you in the next step. Welcome back. You're going to make your way over to desktop mode. If you're not sure how to get to desktop mode, you're just going to want to push the power button, uh, the steam button, power, and go to desktop. Once you're in desktop mode, you're going to want to go to the uh, unofficial website, well, the uh, the Severed Chains website, I should say. As you can see here, I'll have this in the description below so you can easily get to it. And you're going to go down to PC port. And from here, you'll just scroll down to get a your copy of Severed Chains. This is pretty easy to download. You just click on download here, uh, as you can see. You just go click here for the recommended build. This will take you to GitHub, and from here you can scroll down and get a copy for Steam, which makes life very easy. This will take just a few moments to download. Uh, and the reason this isn't that big is the game files like all your um, character models and the background images, music, is not part of this. This is just the engine that then imports all those files, okay? So I'm going to say this here now, so before you get too deep into this video, you are going to need a copy of the game or a way to get a copy of the ROMs for Legend of Dragoon. I own a copy of this game, as I said earlier, on my PS5 or on my PSN account. So I got me a copy of my ROMs. Uh, any Google search will help you find those ROMs. It won't take you more than a second. Uh, next up, you're going to want to make a folder where you've downloaded uh, your copy of Sever Chains. I just called it LOD for Legend of Dragoon. But you can name this folder whatever you want. And you can see the severed chains, chained folder is there. And I just put it inside. And then you want to put this folder somewhere out of the way. So for me, I'm going to put it in my... I've made an additional folder on my left-hand side called Games, which is where I store my copy of Battle.net and Heroic. So I'm going to stick it there. You could stick it in the Documents folder on your desktop wherever you like, it doesn't really matter. And you just want to make sure that you extracted it out. You extract it out within that, as you saw earlier in the in this, in this video. As you can see, I've extracted it, and it gives you all these files inside. And where it says BIOS, um, iOS, is where you're going to install or download your, you know, your copy of Legend of the Dragoon from the PS1, okay? Now, that's something I can't talk about, but that's... A quick Google search and you'll be able to work out how to get your four discs of Legend of Dragoon and how to rip your own copies or whatever other means you have. 
as you can see here, I've now put, I've put my copy of the files inside. As you can see, I've now got my files of all the disks in the folder of the iOS folder. This is the majority of the hard work done. Um, after you make sure you extract them and you've got both the CUE and the bin folders in there. After that, there is a launch folder and I've renamed it Legend of Dragoon, okay? You can name it whatever you want, but I purposely called it Legend of Dragoon because it makes sense. And then I add it to Steam by right-clicking on it. Once you've renamed that launch folder, go ahead and execute it and it will start running the script and loading the engine up. And you'll know you've done it right when the Severed Chains logo came, comes up here and then it starts unpacking everything you need to play the game. This is it. You're basically done. And I will see you on the other side in game mode. So yeah, just close this out and head back to game mode. As you can see here, I've made myself a little cover art and file. To when I see it on the desktop, it looks like this. If you're looking for it, it will be under your non-Steam Games uh, folder, which is quite easy to find. So here are some of the options that are available uh, for this version of the game. As you can see here, you can change a ton of settings here and really get into the nit and gritty, including you know speeding up text, um, skipping cutscenes and everything in between changing the encounter rate indicator mode inventory size um, quick text um, and all sorts of little options here which is really really lovely um, which does give it an advantage over say just em emulating on duck station um, this just gives you a little bit more control over what you're doing in game um, and then i'm just going to talk about a little bit about the game and what severed chains does and my personal settings here uh, could be anything you wanted. The frame rate here is quite low because I had turned up the internal resolution of the game to five, which is its max, but it seems to be just a little bit too much for the Steam Deck to be at that higher resolution. So my um, suggestion is when you're setting up in the options is to put it at about three, two to three for the internal resolution and uh, the frame rate seems to be quite steady at that. Now, things to come. As you can tell, this still looks quite like a PS1 game. Um, but the, the Severed Chains community is actually working on a full 3D, not 3D, but a full uh, upscale of all of the assets. So I'll put some pictures in the background of what they've accomplished so far. Um, they've kind of jumped off that at the moment as they're finishing off completing the uh, Severed Chains engine. So things that are coming next for this release uh, is huge, like 4K native resolution, 60 frames per second, um, optional widescreen support, and it'll also run much faster than this current version. So maybe we'll get a few more frames out of it. Um, Sever Chains has definitely got a little bit way to go, but it features, you know, a ton of things like instant save, which is quite good. So you're not relying on using save points or anything like that. As you can see, it's in the menu. It's added to the game. Like it's not sort of like the other emulators where you're tapping multiple keys to make random saves, but it is nice. Um, in addition to that, they've also, you know, it's going to have mod support. So there could be more than just what they're doing in terms of mods, but that's the big one, right, is the updated um, 4K and all that good stuff, which is, like I say, on its way. Um, there is no current release date for it, but uh, it's going to be badass when they finally make it, comp you know, complete it. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, hopefully this has rekindled your love for this classic game um, and there's so much more to do. As you can see here, I'm, I just play around with the scaling a little bit. You can definitely go full uh, screen and play around with this, the filters. NIS looks really bad. I don't know whether it comes through on this video. Um, I'm finding FSR is pretty clean, um, 
but you do get a few jaggies at that resolution. So it, it really is personal preference. Play around with um, some of those settings and, and see what you think looks good. And I'm going to leave this running in the background and, and let you guys decide how you want it to look. Um, and I will do an updated video when they release the massive patch for the game. Um, you know, because when that gets done, it's going to be so cool having the uh, up, upscale completed, the upscale mod, which is going to include background images, uh, textures, UI elements, particle effects. Um, and they're saying that the upscaling is all done. It's just the cutouts, which they have not done, like they've not completed. So there's definitely going to be um some stuff the project has been expanded just beyond background images they're already using some experiments for portrait art and ui elements such as icons and text font there's even a soft pass on 3d model textures all these things require time and effort to flesh out but the project is now even more exciting than it was before um but now that savage changes became the best way to play there's been no progress on the issues of the texture replacement and the upscale project so um, while vast, uh, vast majority of the work is finished, there is no estimated completion date. Two volunteers who work on the upscale or support other projects will be worth the wait. Um, and they, uh, they say, question, when can you download this mod? Uh, it will be added to this page. It will also be listed in the main modding area of the site. We'll make an announcement so everyone can be alerted when it becomes available. So that is really going to make a huge difference, having that beautiful upscaled 4K uh, images in the background like it's seriously going to increase the quality of this game by tenfold but even now i think this looks pretty good uh running natively on the steam deck what do you guys think are you going to jump back in and play legend of dragoon or or not for you all right guys i'll catch you in the next one see ya